Hey everyone, this is Standby. Over the last several years, I've been somewhat disenfranchised by the evolution of different platforms online. As I've noticed, they've become more and more places that cater to people who don't make things and kind of toxic in many different ways, but more importantly, the content rating system has been taken away from the user, right? Content has been assigned to the responsibility of an algorithm, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, or what have you. All these different platforms have really removed a lot of the human element from content curation. And more importantly, it's always become about favoring garbage. A lot of content you see is great, and a lot of it also is just somebody playing the game. Content that never should have existed, that requires very little effort. There's nothing wrong with having a vlog, but, I mean, when you think about some of the amazing stuff that also gets uploaded, it's amazing to see what does and what does not succeed. So that's why today, I'm here to tell you what website you should be using. The website you should be visiting on a daily basis to get amazing new content from creators who actually care about putting time and passion into their work. That site is Newgrounds.com. Now, some of you may not be familiar with the name Newgrounds, and others might be thinking, Newgrounds, that place is still alive? Well, the answer is yes. Newgrounds was first created way back in the 90s, actually, and has still been alive since then, in many different forms, but ultimately it has remained one consistent thing. A community curated by content, created by the users. And we're not talking brands, we're not talking big famous superstars, we're talking about the average everyday person who has the passion and the drive to make things. People like me. People like many of you. Whether you're an artist who does traditional paintings or digital art, a musician who makes music, or weird voiceover things like I do sometimes. Whether you're an animator who likes to make cartoons, or a game developer just looking to showcase a new prototype, Newgrounds has a place for all of these kinds of content and more. The site has been functioning and amazing ever since I was a kid. I mean, I first started using Newgrounds like in 2004 or 5, and I made my account in 2007, so you can understand I've seen the full evolution of what Newgrounds has gone through since a lot of those earlier days. And I can say it's amazing to see that a website has somehow stuck it out despite how much the internet has changed. Newgrounds has stayed the same. If you are somebody who's sick of all this algorithm garbage, who's sick of seeing low effort content and tired of not being able to do anything about it, if you're somebody who's just looking to get their start as a creator from the ground up, there has never been a better time than right now to join Newgrounds.com. You see, the game Friday Night Funkin', for all of its good and bad, has triggered a Newgrounds renaissance. And for that, I am incredibly thankful. So if you're interested in being a part of that renaissance and getting your foot in the door on something that's amazing, this is your chance to do it. You can find me on Newgrounds at standpy.newgrounds.com. Check out some of my content I've uploaded there. I've put projects on there that I've never put on YouTube. And any of my cartoons that you've seen here on my channel have also been uploaded to Newgrounds over the years. So this is really a place that I've never stopped using and never stopped being interested in. And I think the same should be true for all of you. So without further ado, if you're looking for a place to get genuine human feedback, human curated content, and not branding nonsense that you didn't sign up for showing up in your into your activity feed or notifications, visit Newgrounds.com. The motto has always been, everything by everyone. Well, for a while it was the problems of the future today, but that's irrelevant. The, the motto that's stuck is everything by everyone, and it's so true. Whether it's amazing collabs, the opportunity to work with amazing artists and creators, or just a chance to get yourself in something where you can have your work seen. You don't need to go anywhere but Newgrounds. Now with all of this said, I'd like to give some personal testimonials about how Newgrounds has benefited me and my channel here on YouTube 
over the years. So first and foremost, obviously a lot of my timing, comedy, and things like that were developed on sites like Newgrounds.com. But in terms of actual measurables, one of my most recent uploads, my Senpai Sim Date knockoff game thing we did, I actually collaborated with people from Newgrounds. Everybody working on that project has a Newgrounds account, and it's, it's where I found them. On top of that, we have other projects I've made, like my Simon Meets Richter Belmont video, or my Codec Calls. The music that I've used in those videos has actually not come from anywhere but Newgrounds Audio Portal. This is an amazing resource for creators to get their chance to meet other creators and actually connect and find amazing, awesome content that you can leverage and collaborate with. I mean, this is just, I can't stress it enough. If it wasn't for Newgrounds, I don't think I would have ever made a YouTube channel like this. I never would have been a content creator who was so inspired or learned how to animate. I mean, I learned how to do that as a child because I was so enthralled by the stuff people were making online. And I'm not the only one who got there. You want to hear some famous examples of Newgrounds graduates, if you will, alumni. Well, you might have heard the name Rice Pirate or Kira Buckland, Rena Chan, Once Upon a Time. Uh, Ego Raptor, Aaron Hansen, you know, he's a game grump now, but once upon a time, he was actually a, a, a big shot animator on Newgrounds, even if he tries to hide it. Tomomoto, pretty famous voice actor these days, also a Newgrounds guy. I mean, I mentioned voice actors primarily, but it, it goes far beyond that. Super Flash Brothers made an amazing video series when I was a kid called The Decline of Video Gaming. You may have heard of them from other titles they've worked on in the future like Snipper Clips on the Nintendo Switch. Super Meat Boy, right? Edmund McMillan, he's a Newgrounds guy. The list goes on. There are so many amazing game developers who have gone on from their Newgrounds roots to then be big, you know, game developers. <laughs> and of course, the behemoth itself. Programmer Tom Fulp, owner, creator of Newgrounds. If you like Alien Hominid, Castle Crashers, Pit People, Battle Block Theater, whatever it may be, well, Newgrounds.com is the reason it came to be. So I think that pretty much summarizes all of my essential thoughts. If you're a creator looking to get your foot in the door and build a community around your content and be a part of a living, breathing community that's always about making stuff and not about drama and feeding into to fake content, but actual blood, sweat, and tears work that you hurt yourself making because animation is not painless. Newgrounds.com is the place for you. Until next time, this is Stampi. Thanks for checking out this video. If you've been on Newgrounds in the past, please let me know your favorite submissions in the comments. Let me know some of your favorite memories from Newgrounds. And of course, be sure to hit me up on Newgrounds. Let me know that you, if you join the site because of this video, let me know. I want to really keep an eye out. I'll be sure to follow you on the site so that you can have at least one extra person checking out all of your uploads. So this is Stampi. Thanks for watching. Everything by everyone. Newgrounds.com. Don't wait because the future is now.